want to go, uh, we want to go back upstairs. And I do believe there's some kind of puzzle up there. Well, it's, it's not really a puzzle, I think. It's like a, a, a keypad thing. I don't remember the code. Let's see. Let's see before I start fucking jumping to conclusions. Right, so first aid. Thank you very much. There's a mo disc. Grab it. That makes me happy. More shotgun shells also makes me happy. Ah, uh, we can have a look at the projector as well. Umbrella, my organic weapon, official report. That's the M39 Cerberus. The dogs. The sharks. The fucking goddamn hunters. And the tyrant. Which he doesn't show you an actual picture of because it wants to leave that as a surprise. Bioorganic Weapon Research Group Development Staff. And do you recognize who that guy is? Yeah, on the right. <laughs> okay. A passcode terminal. Um, eight one. No, eight seven one nine. No. Let's try another one. Eight. One seven nine. No, I'll try one more. So we'll go two four three eight. No, um, I'm pretty sure this is something to do with the slide. So I'm I'm just gonna cut the video here real quick, and I'm gonna figure this out, and then I'll be right back. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in a second. There we go. That wasn't very difficult. Not for a man of my insane intellect. <laughs> ah, shit. Um, you know what? Screw it. I can't be bothered to go back to the box. Oh, we can use this to watch Kenneth's film. All right. So we'll, we'll, we, we shall view the tape. Get your popcorn ready. Wow, Kenneth. Kenneth died like a bitch. <laughs> he totally died like a bitch. Is there anything else over here? Oh, there totally is. Security protocols. Heliport for executive use only. This restriction restriction does not apply in the event of an emergency. Passage to the heliport entry is prohibited unless accompanied by a consultant researcher or chief of security. Unauthorized persons entering the heliport will be shot on sight. Elevator. The elevator stops during emergencies. Visual data room for use by the Special Research Division only. All other access to the visual data room must be cleared with Keith Arving, room manager. Prison Sanitation Division controls for the use of the prison. At least one consultant researcher, E. Smith, S. Ross, or A. Wesker, must be present if viral use is authorized. Triple lock door. Entry into the room is limited to the sole per person who deactivates the lock with all of the passcodes. Accessing the exclusive output terminals located, located in each section of the senior researcher researchers deactivates the lock. Power room. In this room, nitro compound is used as the primary fuel source of power. Access is limited to headquarters supervisors. This is restriction may not apply to consultant researchers with special authorization. Passcode output terminals. Use and access of the output terminals is limited to authorized senior researchers. Regarding the progress of Tyrant... After the administration of T-Virus. Illegible hereafter. Alright. That wasn't really worth reading. Uh, basically, the discs that I have, they go into little Pasco terminals that look exactly like mini GameCubes. Mini GameCubes? It's not like GameCubes are big. But, you know, they look like GameCubes. And they, uh, they unlock the door. 
pretty simple. So I believe that one of those Pasco terminals is down here. And there's another healing item there, but I, I have so many, I don't even need to take it. I mean, I, I have a, a fucking box full of healing stuff. And my inventory's full, so screw it. Screw everything! Hey, buddy! Well, it didn't take out his head, but he's down. What is that? Facts. Two Sanitation Division, Manager of Sanitation, Raccoon Disaster Con Contingency Committee. The contents of this fax are confidential and intended for the named addressee only. Any copying or disclosure of the contents of this fax to any third party is strictly forbidden by the sender. After reading the contents of this fax must be destroyed immediately. We expect significant increase in the damage done by the re recent T-virus outbreak than initially estimated. There are several concerns. First concern. More than half of the researchers have been infected by the T-virus and died. It has also been reported that almost all of the survivors of the accident are starting to show symptoms of the T-virus infection. Second concern. Our secret security protocol team has also been completely eradicated. Therefore, our most secret research is in danger of public disclosure. Quick actions are demanded to prevent mass media coverage. Third concern. There is a high possibility that most of the specimens are running loose inside the compound. We expect many casualties to follow. However, however yet unfortunate, these casualties underscore the success our research results. Actions must be taken to prevent our research results from being made public. We suspect the fifth official intervention well, the first official intervention will come from the state police and stars. We strongly recommend taking measures against them first. Alright. You have many concerns, but I do not care. So let's use the, the disc in the GameCube. And that's released one lock. Transmitting the passcode seems to have unlocked something. Yes. Um... I will pick up those flame rounds, just not right now, because I don't have the space. Uh, I don't need to go in there. there. There's nothing in there that I need. So I want to go down here. And is it this room I want to go in? I think so. Now this is going to be dicey because there are bad guys in here and we need to do this quickly so we don't get tagged. Climb up, Jill. What part of doing this quickly did you not understand? Alright, so through there, run across. I think we go straight through here. Quick, quick, quick. Yeah, here it is, here it is. I have located the next GameCube. Insert the disc. That's unlocked another door. Let's get, let's get the fuck out quickly. Oh shit! Quicker, quicker, quicker! That's what I was talking about. Don't want to get tagged by that motherfucker. Right, so now we want to go through here. We don't need this key anymore. Uh, I don't think we can go through there. No, it's rusted shut. Zombies! Now I'm pretty sure these guys do not come back. So I do not need to worry about burning them. Just kill them. Uh, we need to get power to the elevator. So, first up, I want to combine... Switch to the grenade launcher. And fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! I missed him. 
Are, are you dead? Yeah, he's dead. Okay. So I need to get fuel may explode. Yep. I know. I know. Refueling device for the power room. It's not working right now because there's no fuel. There's an empty capsule. I shall take it. I shall provide you with fuel, and in return you shall provide me with power. Yeah, this this part is uh it's it's really fucking annoying because once I have the full fuel capsule. Not dead? That should kill him. It has? Now it has. Anyways, once I have the full fuel capsule, I cannot run. Otherwise, it will explode and I will die. Uh, walking in this game is fucking painfully slow. Painfully slow. But I guess nobody walks in a Resident Evil game, so I guess they had to do something to actually make the fact that they put walking in, you know, to make it not pointless. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, just, I'm I'm making excuses. It's still pointless. So we'll get these flame rounds now because I actually have some space for them. Oh, that that's what I want. Open sesame. So I need to put the uh, the fuel capsule in. There we go. Fill it up. Give me fuel. Give me fuel. Give me five. Give me something. I, I don't even know. If that, <laughs> whatever. Running could result in a fatal explosion. Yeah. So I gotta walk. I gotta walk. The long walk. Ugh. Nobody likes walking. This is gonna take ages. I don't think that if you had a capsule of fuel, even if it was like nitro based, I don't think simply running would cause it to explode. I don't know. I mean, call me crazy, but I, I that's not something I'd be worried about in a real life situation. I'd probably die, but whatever. <laughs> At least I'd go out with a fucking bang. Hey, I told you the jokes weren't going to get any better. <laughs> I'm amusing myself. I guess that's something. What happens if I shoot my gun? Can I shoot my gun? I don't want to try it. I'm scared. Because... That, you know, the gunshot would jar my body. And there's recoil and, and you know, the recoil. No, surely. Surely you'd be alright to shoot. It would be too unfair if you couldn't shoot. No. You can shoot. It's not, apparently I can't use it. Fuel supply is not working right. Put the fuel in then. Yes, there we go. Finally. So what I need to do now is I need to run through this room. I need to go into the back part and give the elevator power. Without getting tagged by these bug men. I don't know what they're actually called. Bug men's what I'm going with. Here's a fucking here's a, here's another GameCube. Put that in and that should be all three unlocked. It is. I'm gonna have to nail him. Because he was just about to nail us. Should be able to get by him. No problem. No problem at all. And in here should be where we turn on the power. Unless I'm grossly mistaken. Okay, the power is on. Now I need to get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. I don't like this. There's too many of them. Mm. 
Leave me alone! I am not your enemy! Even though I've killed a few of you. We can still be friends! You hideous bug monsters. Run away. Fuck you. I'm far too good for your bullshit. Far too good. So now what we need is an item box. When there's shit, I think there's one right in here. Item box. Item box. Got a first aid spray. Totally don't need it, but I'll take those. So put those in there. Seven grenade rounds. I think that should be enough. So we're going to put the flame rounds away. I'm going to put the shotgun away. We're going to take the magnum. Then we're going to take some more healing items. So we should be good. We should be good. I'm always a little bit tighter than I'd like. But I think it's okay. So let's use this elevator. It appears to be a control panel for the elevator. Press the switch. Hell yeah. And we should... Uh, we should meet up with Barry. The elevator is working. Jill. Barry. You could have at least waited up for me, you know? Let's go. Awkward silence in the elevator. Jill is not happy with you, Barry. She's not happy. Shotgun shells totally don't need those. Bad things are about to happen, you guys. Wesker! Thank you, Barry. Well, what do you know? Oh, don't blame Barry for everything. I hear that his better half and two lovely daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. <sighs> Wesker, you're pathetic. Well, you shouldn't worry too much, dear. You'll be free of all this anyway. Why eliminate stars? Believe it or not, that's Umbrella's intention. You're just a slave of Umbrella. Smart girl. But I think you misunderstand me. The things you mention are nothing. I'll burn all of them along with this entire laboratory. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry? <laughs> you gotta love Barry. He must really be afraid of Umbrella. You and Umbrella took his family. You bastard. Oh! Umbrella. Well, I used some carrots and sticks to cow him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used Barry for my personal interests. Though both you and Barry seem to think I was following Umbrella's orders. What? What are you planning? I guess it's time for show and tell. Magnificent. For the sake of this thing. You know, I hate goodbyes. <gasps> Barry! Forgive me. No, you're not to blame. It's Umbrella and Wesker. Even if it meant my family, I couldn't bear turning my back on my friends again. Shit!
Damn it! <laughs> Jill and Barry together. In hell. You want a piece of me? What? Premature. Freak. Oh my god. Some of the lines that just went back and forth in that. <laughs> the cheesiest fucking dialogue. Oh god. You hurt me. I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, die, please? I don't even think that hit him. He's not dying. There we fucking go. You're down, bitch. You got nothing for me. I'm the greatest. Hey, Wesker, you okay? What a pathetic way to die. He's holding something. Observation note. The discovery of the G-Virus was, in fact, 21 years after the administration of the pri primogenitor virus. The prototype parasite, which we had delivered from a laboratory in France, was administered to the sample specimen. The sample specimen took in the parasite without showing any signs of adverse reaction. The lack of any reaction was an unsolved mystery, but now everything is clear to me now. The prototype parasite was incubating in the sample specimen's body for 21 years. Then from that incub incubating state, the prototype suddenly mutated. Evolved may be a more appropriate word to describe it. This observation gave me more insight into my research. Through further modification and testing, I was able to derive a method to create the G that surpasses the performance of the T. This was the breakthrough that would change the future of the B.O.W.'s history. I cannot wait to see the look on Alexia's annoying face when I finally announce my research, but unfortunately, I'll have to wait a few more years to completely verify my findings. William Birkin Huh. See you later, Wesker. Barry! You alright? Barry! Barry! <sighs> uh, you're okay. <sighs> Jill. Sorry. That was careless of me. Wesker. He's gone. First, let's just get out of here. <sighs> okay. So I'm going to use one of these real quick. There we go. And let's let's leave. The door is electronically locked. It looks like it does so automatically in case of emergency. But I've dealt with the emergency. It, it's it's laying on the ground in a pool of its own blood. How do I open the fucking door? How do I open one of these computers, surely? A machine used to compile experimental data. Um, how to open the fucking door? Come on, man. None of this is working. A panel used to release the emergency electronic lock. Okay, here we go. Let's go. We are free to leave. I've had, I've had enough of these evil motherfuckers. I just want to get out. System has been activated. All personnel must evacuate immediately. Deactivating and Wesker must have set it off. off. Let's hurry. Let's get the fuck out of here. Self-destruct system has been activated. All personnel must evacuate immediately. Another rope could silence in the elevator. Why, why don't we stay together? You know, because we're, we're pretty much going to the same place. That seems dumb to me, but whatever. So, I want to get rid of this now. 
that trusts completely to my magnum. I, I, sh I probably should save the game, but I'm not going to. Because I'm a badass motherfucker. And who needs to save? Nobody. Well, not me. So if I run this way, I'm pretty sure there's going to be enemies in this hall. If I run this way, I might be able to avoid them. In this hall? It's not a hall. Totally worked. My plan totally worked. I know there was more of those bugmen around. So we gotta go get Chris before we leave this place. Oh. Here we go. I gotta do each and one individually? God damn it. Hurry up. This place is gonna blow up! We don't have time for this shit! Chris, I'm coming! Coming, buddy. Nobody gets left behind. Not on my watch. <laughs> That's the only good line from Resident Evil 6. Coming in. I hope you're decent. Jill. Chris, you're okay. Glad to see you are too. We'll talk later. First, let's get going. The self-destruct system has been activated. We're leaving! We don't have time to converse in what's happened. And where did he get the gun from? I certainly didn't give it to him. And I find it hard to believe that Wesker would capture him and lock him up in a, uh, in a, in a, in a cell, but leave him with a weapon. I find that very hard to believe. Whatever. Come on, let's go. Yeah, just just run off and leave me, you fuck ass. I went out of my way to rescue you, and you just run off and leave me like a fuck. That's not cool, man. See, this is why I'm glad I burnt those zombies, otherwise I'd have crimson heads up here by now. And that would not be very fun. The self-destruct system has been activated. All personnel. I have another opportunity to save the game here. I should probably do it, because if some bullshit happens and I die, I got a lot of stuff that I'd have to replay, so I'm gonna do it. I'm chicking I'm chicking chickening chick chickening. <laughs> Whatever, I'm wussing out. I'm saving the shit. It's only my second save of the whole game, so... That's not bad, right? Two saves in the whole game? I can live with that. I'm hurrying, goddammit. I don't like being rushed. I don't need any of that stuff. Damn it, Brad! Don't be a dick! Just wait, I'm coming. This is your last chance, your freaking last chance. Fuck you, Brad. I'm Jill Valentine. You wait for me, goddammit. Put that fucking thing in there, and we should be able to use the elevator. Three minutes to detonation. Damn it! We're almost there! Jill, you just get in contact with Brad. No! We can make it. Jill, ladies first. Chris! Would you let me have my moments, too? All right. We'll rendezvous at the heliport. Let me play hero for a change. I can't remember what he says in the original game. I fucked that up, butchered it. I apologize. I don't care. <laughs> Three minutes. 
I, I don't think it's fair that it counts down while I'm sitting here in the elevator, not doing anything. I don't think that's very fair. But hey. I guess it is realistic. Time doesn't stop because I'm in an elevator, so... So, I should be able to set this just here. He's back, you guys! I'm gonna run over here. I'm gonna shoot the fucking shit out of him. What are you gonna do about this? Oh, I'm reloading. I can't. Oh, there he is. Oh, good! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Fuck me! <laughs> no! I don't like it! Get up, Jill! Holy shit! I'm gonna go stand next to Barry. Maybe if I stand like right next to him, it'll confuse him. He won't know who to attack. Oh, here we go. Okay. I got this. You missed me, fucker. Hold on, hold on. Fucking die! Well, that's it, you guys. And, you know, I am a huge Resident Evil fan. And I have to say that this game is the best Resident Evil game to date, no question about it. Uh, that's just my opinion, you know. I'm sure there's other Resident Evil fans out there that would say 4 is, or 2, or, you know, whatever. I think it's this one. Uh, I, I would also say out of all the survival horror games I've played outside of Resident Evil, which is a lot, this is the best. And I would probably say this is one of the best games in general of all time. But yeah, that was the end of it. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed playing it. And I thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.